Firstly, I would like to acknowledge our program directors. and convey our deepest and heartfelt condolences to Litsejo and little Leletu, the parents of Gugu, and Litsejo's mother, and all members of the bereaved family of, of Zulu and Mushuewu. Minister Fikile Mbalula, the Minister of Sports and Recreation in our country, the MEC for Sports, Arts and Culture in our province, MEC Faith Mazibuko, and other representatives of government in our midst from the province and national, the host Today, the executive mayor of the city of Johannesburg, who has done a great job in helping us today to honor Gugu in the most deserving way with a civic funeral. The Chief Justice Mukhen Mukhen and members of the judiciary, the ambassador of Tanzania, her Excellency Ambassador Msuya, the Archbishop Njongonkulu Ndungani, the Secretary General of the South African Council of Churches, Bishop Mpumlwana, the CEO and board members of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, the sporting fraternity and specifically members of Motorsport who have joined us today, friends and colleagues of Gugu Zulu, fellow mourners. We have gathered here today to bid our final farewell to our fastest brother in Africa. We have all come here to pay our last respect to the one who was very respectful. As a son, as a brother, as a husband, as a father and as a colleague. We come together to express our nation's collective grief and deep sense of loss because we too are hurting. We are hurting from the gaping wounds of the emptiness that Google has left in our nation. For his sudden departure is something the youth of our country at large and the youth of Deep Slot would feel greatly. There are very few moments in the life of a nation when a young man of Gugu's age can live a life that can be such a monumental lesson for the entire nation. A lesson of what it really means to be a loving husband and a caring father a lesson of what it means to be a conscientious citizen and a celebrity who makes a difference, a life of what it means to be an ambassador of hope to many young people through, throughout our townships who often live lives of teetering on the brink of hopelessness and despair. On Tuesday, we gathered at the Kailami racetrack to listen to members of the Zulu family and the Mushueu family, friends, the sporting fraternity, and the leadership of Gugu's church, including the youth from Deep Slot, giving powerful testimonies about Gugu's life and legacy. They paid glowing and tearful tributes to Gugu as a respectful and affectionate son and brother a loving, loyal, and caring husband of Litsehu and father of Leletu, a racing champion, and indeed the fastest brother in Africa. They pay tribute to him as a conscientious citizen 
and as someone who was famous and used his fame to make a big difference and gave back to his communities and gave hope to the youth of our townships in our province. Google's life teaches us something, that when you rise, take others with you. This is the best African way. His life also teaches us that when you have influence, use your influence to impact and uplift the others and not just take care of yourself and your family. This is a profound lesson for all of us. For sometimes we spend too much time worrying only about our own lives and those of our next of kin, while doing very little to open opportunities and empower those who need a helping hand. Gugu challenges all of us to live our lives with more compassion by bringing more light and hope in the lives of others. In this regard, Gugu is not only a legend of motorsport, he is also our hero. He has inspired us too. Fellow mourners, our government, the national, provincial, and the city government have seen it fit to honor Gugu, as I've said, with the civic funeral granted by the city of Johannesburg. And this is done not because Gugu was famous. There are many famous people in our midst. This is done not because Gugu was a racing champion. There are many champions in our midst. This is done because this is a champion who made a difference, who used his success to inspire young people who were less privileged across the length and breadth of our country. So today we bid Gugu our final farewell with the official honors because his life is a rich tapestry of positive values and attitudes we so dearly need as a developing nation and a young democracy. We need these values that Google lived to be inculcated amongst all South Africans, young and old, black and white, rich and poor. Gugu is indeed a treasure of our nation. Igugulet. Uguguet. Igugulet. We all need to take a leaf from his book of life if we are to build a country of Nelson Mandela's dreams. Certainly as husbands, even if we were older than Gugu, there's something we can learn from Gugu and certainly something we can learn from you, Litsehu. Because Gugu and Litsehu worked passionately and tirelessly together. And I'm glad you say you will continue his legacy because you worked together tirelessly and passionately in supporting all social causes, whether it was in Deep Lord or in other parts of the country, whether it was the bikers, the mountain bikers in Deep Lord or the orphanages for, for which you had been cycling and biking to raise funds for, whether it was, it was the cause of the girl learners for which Google passed on working for, and what a way to die if any of us were to choose a particular way of dying. I think we should choose to die for a cause, to die pursuing a cause such as the one Gugu was dying for. And what a date to die on, Nelson Mandela's birthday. And what a place to choose to die at if he chose. For Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, 
is our collective heritage, is a beautiful place to which Litsejo has invited many of us. I am going to think about it, Litsejo, and my wife is here. <laughs> the minister is here and the mayor is here and the speaker of the city is here. Maybe we should join you there. I don't know what will be happening next year, but maybe we should join you there. Google's life is a lesson for many of us, especially those of us who are the black middle class, who live particularly in the leafy suburbs of our country and our province, having grown up in the townships. Google teaches us a lesson that townships still do exist and that there are many people in our townships who, who don't enjoy the privileges that some of us enjoy today. For the time he spent in Deep Slot is something worth emulating. Google also teaches celebrities that you can use your fame conscientiously and positively to impact, uplift, and inspire others. I think Mayor and Minister, Google also teaches us politicians that the positions we hold are about serving the people and going beyond the call of duty. I think Google's own success in motorsport is a story of transformation that you are so passionate about. We would have possibly not known the fastest brother in Africa. If, as we heard from Vusi Kunene on Tuesday, there is no real fight to open up opportunities for our youth, black youth, in every sport in our country, to ensure that they too can shine, that they too can show that they have talent, and talent has no color. In order to sustain Google's legacy and take forward some of the work he was so passionately involved in, we as the Gauteng Provincial Government will particularly look at the issue of the girl child. Already, <clears throat> already we have been providing 230,000 girl learners out of 2.2 million of which 1.2 million are girls with what is called dignity packs, which include the sanitary towels. But I can say to you, let's say who, 239,000 is too little because there's another million girl learners in this province alone who are affected by lack of dignity, sometimes missing school because they don't have the sanitary towels. So together with the Nelson Mandela Foundation, we would like to be a partner to this cause with you, Litsejo. <clears throat> we have also interest in what we can do together with you and the city of Johannesburg about the academy in Deep Slot. So there is some issues we can still talk about the MEC for sports in our province, and the MMC for, for community development, who is also uh, directing the program here, have a lot of work to do. And what can we do to support the academy in Deep Slot so that it doesn't disappear and fade away? I would like also to make a commitment to the motorsport enthusiasts. In June this year, we had a a conversation with the youth of Gauteng. And it's only at that time I really came to understand this thing called spinning cars, that actually spinning cars is motorsport. These young people passionately pleaded with us that many of them start with spinning cars in the townships. And their dream is to be Guguzulu. That out of spinning cars, they really want to be the, the fastest champions. They pleaded with me and the MECs on that occasion that we should do something to formalize motorsport and ensure that it is regulated properly, but go to the townships to involve more young people. So, Minister, these young people were saying that there are many opportunities 
in motorsport, and there are many of them who are involved. We only see the, the car spinning side of it, which we, we, we criminalize. They were saying to us, you criminalize uh, our talent. Uh, we only see the negative out of it. So I would like to conclude, therefore, by saying to, to the parents, to the wife, and indeed, the uh, letter is still, is, still, is still little. But I saw that he was, she was having a conversation at the memorial service, sitting with the Dr. Homole Momshew, she was having a conversation. I think she understands what's happening around her. We may not understand what she understands, because uh, when adults don't understand children, they think children don't understand what they are doing. I would like to, to say that this legacy of Gugu Zulu can only be pursued if we work together in a compassionate way, in a manner consistent with Google's vision. And Google's passion and smile can only be matched by Nelson Mandela. And I want to conclude with a quote from Nelson Mandela. Our human compassion binds us the one to the other, not in pity or patronizingly, but as human beings who have learned how to turn our common suffering into hope for the future. Madiva and Gugu have a lot in common, and we are certain that Gugu will remain a treasure in our country and a treasure for our youth. Farewell, Ndavezita. May God grant this family strength so that they too can heal. Thank you.